It's the moment we've all been waiting for. The continuing series. Ikea for van dwelling. This is a monumentous occasion, you guys. We're about to go inside. When you think of Ikea, you think of furniture. Some people say it's cheaply made. I think it's modern and trendy looking. It looks really cool. I love the way it tricked out the van back here. It seems you guys did too, but Ikea isn't just furniture. Not only is there a five-star restaurant inside every Ikea, that's a little bit of a joke, but it's still really good. I like I like the meatballs. Those are, those are good meatballs. But it's got all sorts of cool household items. And what is a van but a house on wheels? Home is where the heart is. And today we're checking out all of the good stuff you can use at Ikea for your van life kitchen or tiny house. Pretty similar. All right, let's get inside. Let's, let's go. I'm excited. Now, you don't have to go through the entire Ikea to get to the kitchen supplies, but it's part of the experience. We're gonna go through the Disneyland-esque layout of Ikea and see what there is to see. Maybe we'll even find something that's not just kitchen. The coolest part is all of the little dummy setups that they have. It's pretty busy for a Friday. I like this aesthetic, this is pretty good. Small like black cabinets, futon. I think I even had that futon. These things would be an awesome addition. We saw the tiny house that we went to a few videos ago, had one of these that was set up. This would be awesome to put things in. And this is really cool. I've never seen these before. You could do all types of like cool sprouting stuff or store your stuff in there on the wall because obviously storage space is at a premium when you're in the tiny house or a van. This is a cool option. I like these a lot. What are these called? Rim Forza. Ooh, and a small one. That's cool. So these are kind of pricey. You might be able to build your own out of uh, your own type of wood. It probably wouldn't look this cool, but you get the idea. These are pretty sweet. I would love this for a kitchen. These, look at, they come in like small things too. I don't know what you would put in them, but they look really cool. It looks like a test tube. You know, it's a potion. You're ready to go. I, I like these a lot. Is this one more expensive? Oh, this one's even cheaper. Or no, well, that's for the containers. That's for the vials. Hey, that's not a bad price. You can store your ladles and things like that. Look, you can grow your own herbs in your van. How cool would that be? I really like these a lot. I might get some of these. Here's another option if you want to grow little herbs in your van. I think that's pretty good. You can hear the lovely children uh, across the aisle that are just expressing their absolute joy with being at the most magical place on earth. More types of shelves. We've got spice racks with Beck Thumb. Different colors to match your interior. And these things are pretty sweet too. Spatulas, the same type of hanging stuff. You can get as many of these little clips as you want. I think that's gonna be a great way to store things in your van. And then this is very interesting. The magnet's actually pretty strong. It's probably a neodymium magnet, and that'll keep things stuck to it while you're driving. These are some good ideas. You need some placemats? Here you go, really high quality. Let's see what the price is. Can we find a price? All right, the mat's only two bucks, and look, you can get a whole set of really good utensils six bucks i'm telling you ikea has all the stuff you need you want your french press coffee we got it we got it for you this looks like a one of those little blender things I'm not exactly sure how it works it's out of batteries but it'll foam up your milk you can get your espresso you can even buy the coffee here it's actually pretty good if i remember ikea kitchen ideas for van life see aren't you glad we didn't just cut straight to the kitchen stuff we found a lot of good stuff already i'm excited this is pretty cool it's given me a lot of different ideas on the layout and how to do things you know what really amazes me is that the prices at ikea are even cheaper than most of amazon and you get like higher quality stuff and i think it always looks cooler so it's a big bonus those are pretty cool i like that that's like the uh chinese lantern but purple very cool and now we'll head down to the marketplace and see all the good kitchen stuff and get all those ideas.
I don't even know what this is. All your extra super lightweight, but still very durable plastic utensils. These are really useful. I like having the metal ones, but you don't want to use metal tools on non-stick pans. It'll scratch them up and then you'll eat that non-stick coating and you'll get cancer and die. And I don't want you to die. I want you to keep watching some videos. Everybody needs a can opener. I've got lots of canned food in the van. It stores forever. Definitely get some type of can opener. These are a bit pricey at six bucks, but they're very nice quality. You can probably find a can opener. I mean, here's a wine opener if you like to do that, but certainly you're not gonna drive while you're doing that. But it's also got a normal bottle opener. This is interesting. The John Floyd hand-powered mixer. It's so hard to get appliances to work properly with your inverter, as we saw with the ironing fiasco. This is perfect. It's powered by your hand. It's absolutely fantastic. I didn't even know they had these. And it's on sale. Here is an excellent piece of equipment that you're gonna need. You're gonna want a pot. Now, you're not gonna wanna put this directly on top of a campfire. This works great with our butane stove. You get three different sizes of pots and they're like the perfect size for my stove. They're not too big, they're not too small. You can make a, a whole day's worth of food in it. Some assembly required, super cheap. The whole set, 13 bucks. I mean, you really can't, five piece cookware set, you can't do better than that. Speaking of what you can't do better than, look at these frying pans. These look non-stick. They're pretty light actually, which is a big plus when you're doing tiny house van stuff because you're gonna be driving a lot and you don't want all that extra weight. Comes in different sizes. Nine bucks, six bucks. Here's a tiny one if that's even better for you. Or about a mid-size one. You wanna take your pot off of the stove and put it down and cook something else? Get one of these, these little insulators. It won't burn down your, it won't burn down your wooden desk that you're working on. Of course, we've got more pots and pans in all the different colors and sizes. Anything you could possibly want, I'm telling you. This place has everything. You got your kitchen knives, and I'll tell you what, I have this set. It's absolutely, it's like one of the sharpest and best knives right here that I've had. I absolutely recommend it. And they're also cheaper. This is kind of a bigger option, but it's got all the space that you're gonna need. You definitely want a cutting board. I cut a lot of onions, peppers, all sorts of things to put in my recipes. And if you're already shopping here, why not pick that up? And you're also probably gonna want one of these. You're driving, you're moving along. You don't want your liquid to spill. All of the different types of mugs, containers, thermoses. This is a great little handheld coffee cup. All different sizes. And then of course, you can get some Tupperware, which is gonna be great to store all your food because you know, you wanna save money. You wanna cook your own stuff, but maybe you cook too much. Put it in a Tupperware. Now I prefer glass Tupperware because you don't get the BPA plastics and all that type of stuff, but plastic is much lighter. More storage containers, salt and pepper, these are kind of big for salt and pepper. If you like it a lot, then you can go with that. I mean, these are more decorative. I like the smaller, more travel size, compact ones. Oh, here you go, like this, perfect. You know what would be cool for survival? Pickle and jar your own stuff, preserve it. Learn how to do that so you can survive in the nuclear winter of 2024. Here we go, here's the glass Tupperware. Although that doesn't really seal properly. So you gotta get a lid like this. This is great stuff, I definitely recommend it. It is a lot heavier though. Oh, these are cool bottles. And brew your kombucha in that. Many, many years ago, I got one of these dish sets, these plate sets, bowls, and everything from Ikea. I got the black ones. The problem with them is they're so heavy. Like, each plate weighs, like, over a pound. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I think they stopped making those. These are much lighter than what they used to be. And they come in all different shapes, colors, different... This looks like a matte finish. They're a little bit heavier than, you know, a paper plate. But these are really great. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is the bowls because I like a lot deeper bowls. This is okay, but I like bigger and deeper bowls. These are the coffee cups I have, but they're only for sitting down. It's not like you can drive on the road and drink from that. So I do recommend, you know, something with a lid on it. There is definitely something to be said for disposable plates and paper towels. It's not as good for the environment, but when you don't want to do a lot of dishes and you don't have that sink or all that running water, it does make things more difficult. I must admit, I collect the napkins when I get takeout or anything like that, and I have used paper plates pretty frequently. I try not to, but it's very convenient. All right, you guys, hopefully you got some good ideas on how to set up your kitchen. Some cool things. We saw the cool hanging things. I didn't even plan to see that. That was a complete fortuitous accident. But you can see, Ikea's got all the stuff you're going to need for your kitchen. Most of it, anyway. I use a butane stove that's one burner, so I definitely recommend doing something like that. 
because you can just keep replacing the gas on it and it's not like something that you have to mount anywhere. You can put it away and take it back out whenever you need it. And I just can't overstate how convenient it is to have the magnet set up. I really want to get one and test it to see what type of driving it'll take to knock these things off. Those are cool. Wow. Is that a rug for $800? Wow, that's expensive. I mean, I guess rugs are really expensive, but <laughs> I paid like 50 bucks for that giant shag carpet, and I like that a lot better. Although not everybody likes the lime green. These are cool lamps, though. They just have the coolest chandeliers and lamps. Oh, look at those. These are cool. That looks like an old Edison bulb or something. You can get little ones. That's so cool. That's not really van related. Wasn't that a good time in Ikea? It's always a blast and I always get a lot of different ideas on like how to reorganize the van or like do a completely new one. When I get into this mode, I'm always like, oh, I need a new van so I can redo it. Cause those are all the best videos and that's like the most fun part of the experience. Thank you guys for coming with me to Ikea and checking out all the really cool stuff. I think we saw some really cool different ideas and different little products today. Coming up soon is a tour of everything that I have in my van life kitchen. It doesn't have all the same stuff, but I think it's going to be a really interesting perspective into how to cook on the road. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.